So how do you go about participating in DECA? Well, if you're interested in getting involved with DECA, here are some of the steps that will get you started, uh, get you started for next year's DECA competition. First, you should establish a DECA chapter for your school or apply to be the exec officer at the chapter if your school already has one. Then you should register for the written exam, which is divided into integrated marketing campaign events and professional selling and consulting events. Finally, you need to submit written reports and audio presentations in any of the five areas of integrated marketing campaign events, professional selling and consulting events, entrepreneurship events, business operations research events, and project management events. These are usually due by early February, so next year, early February 2022, will be the deadline. And DECA has just finished this year's regional competition, so if you are interested, please check the DECA website for updates on next year's schedule as they come up. And for the process for DECA, to participate in DECA, you must first choose between six career clusters. You can choose which one you find most interesting or have previous background knowledge or depending on the courses you have taken in high school. Uh, DECA website also provides a set of questionnaires you can go through to identify which career cluster and the type of event you'll fit well with if you're not sure. Each career cluster uh, has its own set of instructional areas, knowledge and skills that are unique to that cluster. And those clusters are business administration, management and administration, finance, hospitality and tourism, marketing, and personal finance literacy. So business management and administration relate to oral events and or written projects in the areas of business law and ethics, business service operations, business solutions, career development, community awareness, community giving, human resource management, principles of business management and administration, as well as sales. Entrepreneurship relates to oral events and or written projects in the areas of business growth, entrepreneurship principles, franchise, independent business, innovation plan, international business, and startup. Finance relates to oral events and or written projects in the areas of accounting applications, business finance, finance operations, finance consulting, principles of finance, and stock market. Hospitality and tourism relate to oral events and or written projects in the areas of hospitality service, operation, professional selling, hotel and lodging management, principles of hospitality and tourism, quick serve restaurant management, restaurant and food services, and travel. Marketing re relates to oral events and or written projects in the areas of apparel and accessories, automobile services, business services, buying and merchandising operations, buying and merchandising, communications, getting professional selling, retail, merchandising series, and sports and entertainment. Uh, and lastly, the personal finance literacy relate to oral events and or written projects in the areas of the personal finance literacy principles. For each career, career cluster, students can choose to participate in either individual or team competition. And for each career cluster, students will also be able to participate, depending on how well they do, at three different tiers, regional, provincial, and international. At each of the regional, provincial, and the international, ICDC, International Career Development Conference level, uh, students will, at first step, participate in oral events, and they will write 100 multiple choice exam for the career cr cluster they have chosen within 60 minutes. With teams event, uh, at the first stage, they will take the weighted average of the team members. Uh, individually, they will just take the 100 marks as it is. Students who are participating in the written proposal event and not the oral event will submit their proposal um, 
and it will either be a pass or fail to be considered for provincials. And for business and operations events, project management events, business management and entrepreneurship events, uh, they will be scored out of 60 rather than pass or fail for the regional level and out of 100 for provincials. Uh, and then the next stage after they have gone through the oral uh, multiple choice exam or their written report is to participate in the more of a role play like you've seen before in the video. The students are given a scenario to review and it could be a product to sell, some sort of a merchandising decision they have to make, uh, communication issues or business management consideration. Then they must assess the scenario and present their solution to a judge like you've seen in the presentation during the case study presentation events and perform role play. There are a list of different performance indicators that are specific to each of the scenario that is included and the participant must touch on every single one of those indicators during the role play. Then the judge will evaluate the participant's role play and beginning with last year, so 2020 to 2021 school year, the team decision-making events will combine the 10-minute presentation and five-minute judge question period to an overall 15-minute presentation and judge question at the same time. And at the provincial level, there are two oral events. And at the regional, event, uh, regional level, there is one oral event. And both of the oral events are weighted equally at the 100. So each of the written tests and oral events are created out of 100 points. Uh, and we will say that the provincial level oral event is more important as there are 200 point events compared to one written test. Those of you interested in participating for DECA next year, this was the topic from this year's competition. You can use them to help start thinking about how you might prepare for next year's competition, I would recommend. So there are three topics, development of a strategy to rebuild customer loyalty and spending as a result of business disruption for at least the previous six months due to the whole COVID situation, collaborating with the local business or organization to analyze the current state of business operation as a result of business disruption and explore strategies to rebuild customer loyalty and spending. Lastly, to present a strategy plan to rebuild customer loyalty and spending. Oh, uh, 